Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create and automate topical maps for free using this one-click SEO process, as you can see right here. Basically, all you need to do, type in your niche, you generate a topical map for you. I would walk you through exactly how to build it. Plus, I'll give you the template for free today, along with a bunch of other free AI SEO tools. The SAP is waiting for you right here. You get free instant access to that. This is a tool that I could easily charge money for, but I just wanted to give it to you for free. And if you never want to worry about topical maps again, I'm talking about a method that can generate 270 hyper relevant topics to your niche. Works for any industry, you just type in your niche. It takes one click to set it up and it's completely free for you. Let's get into it. All right, so first thing you wanna do is have Claude for Sheets installed as you can see right here. And this is going to allow you to automate topical maps inside Google Sheets. So let me show you an example. If we go to sheets.new and we'll just create a new spreadsheet template for you today. And by the way, you'll get access to a template that I'll give you that you can just make a copy of at the end of this video. But from here, what we're going to do is we will go to extensions because we have the Claude for Sheets extension set up. Then you're going to enter your Anthropic API key. This connects Claude to Google Sheets for you so that you can automate stuff. And then from there, just make sure that you have an API key set up from console.anthropic.com. You can get free credits. So you get $5 in free credits and you won't use anywhere near that for generating a topical map. So you can claim that for free and then you can use that free API key inside Google Sheets. Extension is free. $5 in free credits on like, the console of Anthropic are free and Google Sheets is free as well. Completely free. Now, to set up your API key, just go to settings, API key, grab it right here. We can call this, for example, topical map. And then you would just plug in your API key directly into this box right here. Once it's done, you'll see that it was say valid API key saved. And that was the hardest part of the whole process. It only gets easier from here. And then the first automation that we're going to set up is this one from a previous SAP that I've used to generate topical maps. And so we can put that prompt in column B. As you can see, and in column A, we're going to have the niche. Now this would work in different languages as well. You can just change the prompt, add the language, etc. But we're going to keep it simple. So I'm going to put the niche over here, the topical map prompt in column B, and then we'll use Claude to generate the topical map topics that are semantically relevant, but unique topics in the right language, etc. right? Each topic must be relevant, relevant to the top of the niche. Reduce each to three to five keywords. That just keeps it short and titles straight to the point. Prioritize the list by semantic relevance and include the keywords. We don't need to worry about English translation. That was for a previous foreign topical map that I've created. One thing as well, just keep everything tidy. We'll just wrap all the prompts like so. And so if we put, for example, our niche as birds, we've got the topical map prompt in column B. And what I'm going to do is I will select that cell right there, put and, and then this in quote marks. All right. So we've got that in quote marks. Then we're going to add the cell reference when it comes to niche. Also, you can do this for like multiple sites or multiple different niches. So if you need to generate like 20 topical maps in one click, you can just drag this formula down and we'll put a dollar sign down next to A so that each time it's referenced, it keeps the column in the same place, but it changes the cell to the niche. That makes sense, right? So if you drag this down, it's going to reference the niche that you put in here, 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 etc. Right? And so then you can automate the topical map process, right? And so we've got the niche, easy. We've got the topical map prompt, easy stuff. I'm going to close this just to keep things a bit easier to read. And now what we're going to do is the 30 topics right here in this cell. Now this is where you're going to use Claude to automate it, right? So if we put equals Claude, then we're going to take that prompt right here and you can see how it's customized to our niche. So it's got the prompt and then it's got the niche from column A. We'll hit okay, like so. And that's just going to call Claude and start using the prompt that we asked Claude to generate for our topical map. Now I'm just going to change the prompt slightly because what you can see here is it's generated a table, which would normally look quite nice and say, the chat mode of Claude or inside the chat mode of ChatGPT, but inside the spreadsheet doesn't look that sexy. So we're going to change this now, as you can see. So I'm going to remove the table format. We'll change that. As soon as you change the prompt, it's going to change the generation inside column C. And now you can see that it's generated semantically relevant categories for our niche 
automatically using the prompts that work for me previously, right? So for example, it's generated 30 semantically relevant categories, as you can see right here, bird species identification, bird watching locations, bird feeding tips, bird nesting habits, etc. These are all different categories you could create for a silo. And then in the next prompt, what we're going to do is generate 30 topics for each relevant silo. How do you do that, you ask? All right, let me show you exactly how to do this. And by the way, we can just hide column B so that we keep everything neat and tidy, right? We're going to move everything to the top right here. And now the prompt is hidden so that we can just keep everything neat and tidy. And then we've just got the niche, the topics, and the subtopics underneath, right? So how does this work? There's a few different ways you could do this, but I think probably what makes the most sense is that you have a different column for each silo that you want to generate, right? Delete that. And then we're going to take the prompt that worked for me previously for generating the different versions. Now we're going to take part two of the prompts, right? Because we've got the category sorted, but we need the pages for the topical map under each category. And so put silo on there, silo on prompt there. Then we'll insert the prompt into this box. And we're just going to tweak the prompt so that it references the topical map categories you already have. There we go. So I've said, give me 30 variations of, and then we're going to remove the table format. And I'm going to see, I will actually try and like generate this in, in one single column. I just don't think it's going to work because it's a lot of data for the AI to work with. So we'll try that, see how it goes. Could be a total mess, but it's good for you to see what works and what doesn't. So I'm going to say it should be 30 topics with 30 pages underneath. We'll call Claude again. So I'm going to put equals Claude. Then we'll select column D, see what happens. So you can see it's loading. Might take a little while, like a lot of stuff to generate in one go. But this is shaping up easier and faster than I actually expected. Now, what you can see right here is that it's generated the pages for each category, as you can see. So for example, under bird species identification, it's generated 30 different topics for that category, right? So this is the category, and these are the pages that will be inserted into that category on your website. Same for this category, and then the pages inserted, right? And it's all topically relevant. So for example, bird watching locations, and then it's got a bunch of relevant bird watching topics right there. The problem is that it's only generated the first three parts of this properly, which is okay because what we can do is just put, just generate the first three categories slash pages underneath each category. All right. Now I'm just going to fill out the rest of the spreadsheet just to keep this neat and tidy. Now we're going to generate parts four to six in column G. And this is shaping up nicely. Before we go any further, if you want to make more money with SEO, if you want more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO, then we actually have a limited time discount on our SEO Elite Circle that comes with a community, a bunch of money-making courses. This also comes with weekly SEO coaching calls with me, a community of elite level SEOs, courses on local SEO backlinks, YouTube, and growing your agency. You'll be able to DM me with any questions. There's a bunch of private SEO case studies in here that I can't show on YouTube. And you'll also get weekly SEO action plans. This is only for the action take. If you want long, boring courses, this community isn't for you. But if you want to sign up and join the SEO Elite Circle, check out the link in the comments description and you can get instant access. Now, so I'm just going to hide this prompt and I'll show you what I mean. So, so far we have the niche and literally this can be generated just by typing in your niche right here. Then you would have the topics. So you've got the categories inside this section. Then you've got the top one map parts one categories one to three as you can see so it's bird species identification and then 30 topics underneath bird watching locations 30 topics underneath etc basically all automated then for parts four to six as you can see it's got the bird nesting habits bird migration patterns and bird conservation efforts with the 30 categories underneath and then you can see in this column right here let me hide the prompt we have the next part of the double map right and so now Literally just by typing in your niche, you can generate a topical map with nine different categories, 30 pages underneath each category. That's basically 270 topics in one click for your topical map, all automated just by typing in your niche. Easy stuff, all right? Now, what happens if you have multiple niches that you need to generate a topical map for? We could actually just drag the formulas down in the spreadsheet for multiple different niches. So for example, if you're doing this for an agency, and I know agencies, they charge like 300 to $500 a pop for a topical map like this. You can do it for free using this free spreadsheet that I'm giving you. And you get the 80-20 of it. It's not perfect. It does require some common sense. 
but you get the 80 20 bit, right? So, for example, you can put, for example, fishing down here. Then maybe the next niche is gym or intermittent fasting. Then the next niche is AI SEO, right? So, what we can do from here is we'll open up all the prompts as we can see. We'll zoom out a little bit so we can drag them down. And then we can just drag this down to the other relevant categories that we need to generate a top of map for, right? And so you can automate all your top of maps in one click just by typing in the, the category right there. You can also see that I forgot to drag this one down. So let me drag that down too. And then it will start generating the top of map for that. Now you might see some errors or you might see it load in for like two minutes, something like that. But gradually it's going to work through all the outputs that we need, right? So you can see, for example, now it's, and it's generated the topical maps, generated the relevant topics underneath each one. And finally, what you would do is just, you would hide the prompts, right? So these columns right here, B, D, F, and H, you would hide because they're just prompts. You don't need them to be shown. And now you're off to the races, right? So for example, if we look at this fishing topical map, let me zoom in a little bit right here. You can see that it's generated 30 semantically relevant but unique topics for our niche of fishing. Part one of the top of the map is there. And there you go. If you want to customize it more, if you want to get different outputs or maybe you have certain specifics, you can just change the prompts in each column to match what you're looking for specifically. But if we look, for example, at this fishing top of the map, we've got the categories. We have parts one to three of the top of the map, parts four to six, parts seven to 10, etc. You could even fill out the rest of the spreadsheet right? Just type in the formulas and customize them as you want so that it generates category for all of these, right? So for example, fishing science and celebrities, it's just that the further down you go, the less relevant those categories are going to be to the core topic of your website, right? So for example, fishing celebrities, not the highest leverage category to focus on. If you've got a website about fishing and maybe you're affiliating products or you've got your own e-commerce store, but that's essentially how it works. And if you look at the AI SEO niche example, it's created a bunch of relevant categories right here. For example, like in parts four to six, we've got AI link building strategies, semantic search engine optimization, and AI content generation tools as a section, all automated. And literally all you have to do is just type in your niche and add in the API key like I showed you at the start of the video. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more stuff like this, by the way, there's loads of different ways to create top or maps, but I thought I'd focus on the most basic one. If you want me to fill out the whole tool for you, with, for example, maybe a competitor sitemap topical map method. Maybe we could take some keywords from Ahrefs or AdWords and use that to generate the topical map, etc. And just let me know if you want to see more of this stuff. I'll create more videos on this topic. So I've labeled that as topical map automation template. If you want to get instant access to it, I'll include it inside the SAP right here. It's got the method as we talked about. It's actually got the other thing that I would say as well is like this topical map automation works really well with the content outline and content automation that I created yesterday, right? And there's a template for that as well, as you can see. So you just plug in the keywords, aka the topics you've got down here into this spreadsheet, which you'll get access to inside the SAP, plug in your API and everything else like we talked about, and then you can just generate the content. I've got a full video breaking that down inside this SAP as well. So these two things together, you could basically automate the top of map creation. You can automate structuring your website and the site architecture of your site. Then you can automate the content creation and the content outline creation using these free tools. And additionally, inside this SAP, it's got my SEO checklist for editing and quality control in your content before you publish it so that it's the best it can possibly be. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get free instant access to the template, all the resources that I've talked about today, the SAP for using it, a step-by-step -step checklist for automating topical maps so you can just tick it off and copy me along with the content creation and content outline template, then what I'll do is I will take that. And if you want to get instant access to this, we'll go into my free SEO course. This comes with over hundred tutorials, templates, SAPs, etc. And if we scroll down to the topical map section, I'm going to add a new lesson called Claude. We'll hit save on that. And then you can get free instant access to the SAP templates, workflows, prompts, checklist, and SAP directly in there. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session where we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month with SEO, feel free to book that in links in the comments and description. And on that call, we'll give you a free SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have. You'll learn how to outrank your competitors and you'll learn how to increase your SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our clients. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.